me on Facebook, slash Bash Bill Higdon, or Pro Life CMD. Today's Bible verse can be found in First Peter 1, 18 and 19. For as so much as he know that we are not that we were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversations received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. He went to that cross for you and I today. He went to that cross so that we may have life and have life more abundantly today. Greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. He come not to destroy, but he come to seek and to save that which was wrong. It was to save that which was lost today. And when he was on the cross, each and every one of us was truly on his mind today. He knows our middle, beginning, and end. He knows everything there is to know about us. But he still chose us anyways. He's the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and last, he that is and he that was forevermore. And through him truly all things are possible today. You can experience those life after moments through him. You can find redemption. You can find peace. You can find satisfaction today. Whatever you may need in the Lord is yours if you just ask. He said, Ask and shall be given, seek and shall find, knock, and they'll be open. Salvation can't be bought. Salvation is only given through Him today. And it's given when we begin to come unto Him and say whatever's up on our heart today. But we need to confess our sins to Him today. We need to show Him that we deserve it. We need to show Him today that we're ready to serve Him. In all things. And once we begin to do that. We we'll receive. The abundance. Of the Lord. Greater is he that's in us. Than he that's in the world. And we're truly through him. We're more than conquerors today. There's no mountain too high. There's no pitch too deep. There's no valleys too low. That he can't reach. And there's nothing impossible for him. And I'm a firm believer in this today. That there's not one single person. That cannot be changed, set free, and delivered, and set apart. The only difference between a saint and a sinner is that saints have to make a difference whether sinners continue on the same path. But even if, no matter how much of a saint you are, you can stumble and you can fall. There's no such thing as once in grace, always in grace. we got to endure until the end. And if you're not ready when God comes back for you, I don't care how many times you spoke in tongues, I don't care how many times you danced, I don't care how old you was when you got saved, I don't care how many times you sat in a church service. If you're not ready when God comes back for you, you will split hell wide open. So let's make a decision to serve God today. <laughs>